What if I told you that one of early America's greatest scientific minds was born just one generation away from slavery? His name was Benjamin Banneker, the man who charted the stars while the world tried to chain him to the ground. Born in 1731 in Maryland, the grandson of an enslaved woman, Banneker grew up in a time when black intelligence was not just doubted, it was forbidden. Yet as a boy, he taught himself mathematics, astronomy, and engineering. No schools, no teachers, only his own mind and the sky above. He built a working wooden clock entirely by memory, one that ticked with perfect precision for over 40 years. And when the night fell, he studied the heavens, mapping eclipses and planetary motion with nothing but handmade instruments. His genius caught the attention of Thomas Jefferson himself. In 1791, Banneker helped survey the land that would become Washington, D.C., the capital of a nation that still enslaved his people. But he didn't stop there. He wrote directly to Jefferson, challenging the hypocrisy of a man who wrote, all men are created equal, while owning hundreds of slaves. Banneker's letter was calm, eloquent, and merciless in its logic. He reminded Jefferson that intellect knew no color, that truth was not bound by race. His words echoed far beyond the plantation walls. For some, he was proof that freedom and intelligence were not gifts from white men, but the natural rights of all humanity. For others, he was a threat, a living contradiction to the system they built. When he died in 1806, his house mysteriously burned to the ground, along with most of his life's work. Some say it was an accident, others believe it was a warning. But the stars he charted still shine. And they whisper a question across centuries. Was Benjamin Banneker simply ahead of his time? Or was America centuries behind him 